A popular acrylic pouring technique is using colanders, or in this case sink strainers, to create interesting patterns as the paint works its way out through the slots and holes. In this test, we're going to see what sorts of designs these five different strainers produce. First up, let's try this large pink one. And here we go. I'm using a little white between each color to help increase definition. One disadvantage to this particular strainer is that the large lip hides what's going on. Let's speed things up to save a little time. Ah, moment of truth. Okay, not too bad, a little muddled maybe, but a little bit of tilting might be able to make something out of this. Let's try another one. Next time out, let's try this little guy. All right, let's see what we got. That looks pretty good. Some very fine detail towards the center. Well, let's fire up another one and see what we can get. Next up, this more classically shaped sink strainer. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, not bad. And here we go with this one. All right, let's pull it up and see what it looks like underneath. Now the center is not too interesting, but the petal shapes are very sharply defined. I like that. This is a very interesting effect there. More blending going on. It would almost be worth researching to see how we can produce that reliably. All right, one more to go. I see more of these types of strainers used than any others on uh, YouTube, so let's find out why. All right, let's pull it up and see what we have. And we've got a nice bunch of bubbles in the center, but otherwise that's a nice clean pattern. Okay, I really like this one. Uh, this video was just to show how the different colanders, or I should say strainers, work, and uh, you can decide for yourself what you, what you like. Now, what I've noticed, though, is that the more holes that are in the bottom, the more bubbles tend to be formed in the center here. So what I would like to do is take a hot glue gun and fill this in to see if I can get a little bit cleaner center. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I really like this pattern, and I hope you do too. Thank you for watching, and if you get the time, please stop by my main website at waynesthisandthat.com. Take care.